It's Mikey T here at the sports book. Wednesday afternoon. We took one upside the head. The Dodgers get beat at Minnesota 3 to 2. Freaking uh, I must have tripped and hit my head taking the Dodgers minus one and a half. They're not even my team. I just taken it for granted that the Dodgers are going to be the team to play minus one and a half every game all season long. Is that that team is stacked? But I'm going to head to New York tonight. We're going to go with the Yankees minus one and a half. We got Marcus Stroman on the mound. Yankee lineup is stacked as we're early in the season and around 10 wins, two losses. Mentioned earlier, Yankees fan, 26 world championships, MVP player and judge. That lineup's also stacked too. Stanton, we just hope we can stay healthy. Garrett Cole come back, be running in in October with the Yankees. But as of tonight, we're going to take the Yankees minus one and a half and see how we do. Sorry about picking the Dodgers on the big losers, lo losing pick today. I didn't mean to do that. But uh, as you're getting settling into your house tonight and turning down the lights, getting the music on, picking a plate of appetizers up, tuning in to baseball, or hockey, or NBA, whatever your passion lies. We got the Masters coming up at the end of the, uh, the weekend right here, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. My pick for the Masters is going to be Scheffler, Chalk. I'm not really following a whole lot of golf, but I'm not going with Rory. I don't like McElroy, and uh, I don't want John. And... Uh, uh, Brooks Kepka probably not going to have anything. Mm, I don't look for Tiger to, Tiger to make the cut. And I'm going to just play it safe and ride it out with Scheffler. The sports betting. It's an up and down thing. You got to study though. And then you got to have enough bankroll to take it on like I lost the Dodgers today. If I'd have had everything I had on the Dodgers, I'd be out tonight. See, that's why you don't bet all your bankroll. Had a small play on the Dodgers today. Would have barely been bragging or blowing a horn with that victory, minus one and a half, but we don't do that anyways because we lose. We take it on the chin, three to two, boss or loser at the Twins. Get up out of the dirt, make a beeline out to New York, and ride the Yankees tonight. Minus one and a half. This is Mikey T at the sports book. I don't know. I've been blabbing and chattering and chirping for the last month. And I don't think I've asked you one time to push the like button and subscribe, but that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. Hit that like button. Subscribe to Mikey T at the sports book. Michigan's premier sports betting hotline with tips, analysis, and predictions. I'll give you around-the-clock service. I'll give you the latest up-to-date injuries, head-to-head -head comparisons, mathematical equations on who's figuring on what, trends getting upended. Nothing lasts forever. Things change. Winners become undefeated. Losers become winners. Quitters never win. Winners never quit. You gotta, you gotta be able to take a couple punches before you can give a couple, and then think in the long run, what you give to this world is what you exactly get back. Following Mikey T at the sports book will be very, very well profitable for you. Put some more coin in your pocket. I'm not bragging that I'm gonna be undefeated. I'm just telling you like it is. I can put money in your pocket. Betting these sports games, horse racing. It's all about winners, baby. Riding it out. I can't pick every game, but I can pick games. I don't know how many I've already given you. 
<laughs> followed you right through the NCAA tournament and laid Connecticut right at your feet for you. Minus six and a half over Purdue. Come on, man. South Carolina Gamecocks, women's. Come on, man. Make that call. Lakey Sportsbook. 